boys and girls, children of all ages. I'm in a wonderful freaking Disney movie! Uh, episode 4 in the Pink, and I'm your hostess, the wonderful, talented, <laughs> sorry, Katie. Hi. A um, couple things to talk about. My friend, I am the winner of the Ray Larkin contest from um, Fucked Up Music Episode 2. I am the winner. This is the CM Punk signed shirt that just me. Uh, yes, yes. Ray got me. And, and, and like him, I am the best in the world. I'd like to introduce you to my friend, the Lady Killer. The handsome, the hot, the sex sex. Great Larkin. Oh, you better believe it, baby. Uh, Hi. Uh, you know me. You know. Of course. Me. Okay. Well, let, let, let's talk. What, what do you want to say? First of all, congratulations. I had a, I have a show called Buzz Jeff Meacham that comes on pretty much once a month. Kind of like you women did once a month. Hey. <laughs> well, I don't have that time for the next seven. So oh, okay. You, you, right, right, right. right. <laughs> But uh, I have a contest. If you watch my show, put your first and last name under the comments, you're automatically entered to win a CM Punk Best in the World t-shirt. And it's autographed. So, you know, hey, that's what I do. So my show's called Fuck Jeff Meacham. If you watch episode number two, I'm giving away an 8x10 action shot of WrestleMania 27 of The Rock, Miz, and John Cena autographed by all three guys. Whoa. If you want it, if you want it, go to go to my page or just click on YouTube. Fuck Jeff Meacham, watch it. Put your name under uh, under episode two, first and last name, automatically entered. So what do you want to talk about today? Well, actually, um, there's something going on in the Olympics. My girl Gabrielle, Miss Gabby Douglas. Hey, you are the first African American female to win the all around individual gymnastics contest. Go go! I am so proud of you. That's number one. Number two, Michael Phelps has 20 medals of all, 22, excuse me, of all time. 18, I believe, are gold, and the rest are silver, and maybe two bronze. Probably. And he did it while smoking a bomb. <laughs> Man, come on. I mean, come on. And they say weed is a bad thing. Huh. Michael well, Phelps proved that to be BS, didn't he? He did. Speaking of BS, Team Nigeria. Oh. Playing Team USA. Oh. Basketball. Men's yeah. basketball. Yeah, I think that after so long that they should just remove men's basketball <laughs> from the United from uh, the World Olympics because our NBA players mm -hmm. all coming to join forces mm -hmm. to to represent the United States against every other country. It's just like having a high school, a bunch of high school varsity <laughs> guys go to the local elementary school <laughs> and play the kids and just dunk on the court. I go, agree. Go up 83 points on 83 someone. 83 points. Those are grown ass men getting blown out by 83 points. Well, well, you didn't see the game this morning. The women, the um, the the, the USA Olympic women's team, I uh, believe, they scored 114 to 67 against China. That was a good game. I'm, well, I'll tell you, I'm not a big fan of the WNBA. As a matter of fact, I have a WNBA joke if you don't mind. Go for it. Well, right now I guess the uh, the Sparks are up 2-0 on the <laughs> Seattle Storm. And I'm not talking about the score. I'm just talking about the fans. LA has two fans and Seattle has nothing. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I like that. I tried. I tried. I tried. I like that. I tried. That, was, that, that was very nice. Yeah, there's that the Olympics. And, and I believe the first uh, American judo um, champion. Uh, I believe, I can't remember her name, but um, she overcame um, uh, physical and sexual abuse to win um, the Olympic gold medal in judo. She's the first American to do so. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Big up for that. Big up for that. I, I will get to them. I think it's Karen. Please don't kill me, guys. But uh, the Olympics are almost over. We have track and field. You say, ball the up. <laughs> <laughs> and I personally can't wait for in two weeks from today. At the Staples Center, WWE presents SummerSlam. I personally am waiting for Triple H to beat the crap out of Brock Lesnar. Oh, and Paul Heyman, well, you still got your ass without well, 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 Just what? Judging by the, the poster of SummerSlam, oh, great. It, it just looks to me that Brock Lesnar is going to be doing two things, whooping Triple H's ass and taking money shots to the bank. <laughs> Are you serious? Did you see all that light stuff? Ah, uh, yeah, I did. That was so I'm wrong. sorry to be mad. What was that? I don't know if your show's PG, but... No, it's, it's, not, it's not PG. But what was that white stuff coming off your face, Brock? What's that? It coming out of your, out of your coming mouth. Coming out of your mouth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Brock. Oh, we don't know about Brock last night.
So what what do you what do you feel? What what are you looking forward to seeing that summer time? Whether you actually attend or whether you watch it at home. What are you looking forward to? I am actually looking forward to my three year old son who stopped calling me. I'm coming, sugar, mommy's on her way. Don't trip right there. My three year old daddy. Hi, baby. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm getting the sugar right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. For my viewers who just tuned in, um, I have my three year old and I am pregnant with number well, technically one for me, but yeah, two for him. Congratulations. Thanks, and we're praying it's a girl. We, we, we need a pinky junior with all of it. Okay. Now, I'm saying this, as far as summer time goes, can we at least get Layla in the damn lineup? Hello, she's the, women, the Divas champion. We ain't seen her wrestling in how long? Uh, almost like what months? Months. If, if, only, year? if only Fat Boy was here, my old buddy Fat Boy, to tell me that days, months, weeks, weeks, years. Weeks and things is the last yeah. time that. But he's not here, so well, damn we'll, it. Yeah, but you know what we will do is we will put maybe uh, we can get on this new social media network that WWE is pushing. Mm -hmm. That's called Tout. Any wrestling fan already knows what it is and knows how to do it. But in case you don't know how to do it, I also on my YouTube channel, I try to train people the uneducated when it's literally just a 15 second video. Mm -hmm. But I do give you a little more instructions on how to use Tout. Um, you know, you're on towel. I am. Go ahead and push your towel. Hey, guys. Um, Pat Bethany says, leg in. Hi, me. I have one, two, three, four, five up, and my last one uh, has something to do with the return of Randy Orton. Yes, the return of Randy Orton. He came back home Friday. <laughs> I hear voices too, Randy, and they say, thank you. Well, Randy Orton is back. Yay. And what that means for ladies in the back, you better hide your gym bag. Because he's on crap in them. Oh! That's a good one. Sorry. And if you're a new fan, look that up. Yeah, Google that. He, he should have named me Weber's bag. Yeah, he was a former WWE. WWE. Yeah, a uh, former WWE diva, Amy Weber. Yeah, um, he, he crapped on the bag because she didn't know who the heck he was. So. Did you like Rollins' Thousand? Was that a good lead in the summer? Yeah, okay. sure. It was a fantastic lead. I enjoyed Rollins' Thousand. My favorite part. Yes, I am so saying The Undertaker making a surprise appearance, you know, and helping his brother. Nice t-shirt, Diaz. Hey, give us that nice shirt, guys. Diaz. Nice shirt. Nice shirt, guys. Uh, yeah, um, the Return of Taker, that was freaking outstanding because I was going to write a video blog to visit him and he was like, comes out and he didn't have Taker on the one thousand. What, what, what did you think about the wedding? Now, see. Oh, my God. I couldn't take Daniel Bryan seriously when he was talking. When he and AJ, not only that, but when he 